What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so we got our last episode. We did it. We got ourselves our seventh badge, the Legend Badge. Now, if I can only go with my pointer right here, look at that. Seven badges. Thank God we don't have to shine these things up. Yeah, that was... Why we had to shine these things up was ridiculous. Yeah. I am not looking forward to going back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and uh, Shining Pearl. I really am not. Anywho, guys. Um, so, yeah. We literally went went in, defeated Drayden. I, and like I said before, yes, I really do love the way how they, they fixed up the whole the gym. That was way better than, you know, the older versions. And, well, on top of that, too. Oh, yes. Look at that. Big Booty Butkus. Yeah. Majestic AF. That's right. It's back to an Arcanine. So, anywho, it is time for us to go talk to Gym Leader Drayden, not Draven. And this guy is like this way. All majestic as shit. Yeah, his beard is freaking awesome, just like mine. I hope my beard or my, my beard is like that when, you know, it becomes gray. Thank God I'm not turning gray yet. Yes. Oh, and by the way, guys, it's my birthday uh, month, so yeah. Um, feel free to comment down below. Uh, take a guess at how old I, I am. For those who have yeah, been with me forever, yeah, yeah it, I'm, I'm, I'm turning that age. Yeah. <laughs> I know I should be uh, doing other stuff, but man, I like this. Anywho, we're here. Okay, come inside. All right, we're going to go into Drayden's house. And uh, we're going to see what, what, what happens right here. Okay, so Drayden's going to be talking to us about some legendary Pokemon. And he's like, let me tell you a story. It's a long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two dragon Pokemon were awakened. The white dragon Pokemon, Dreshram, sought to be true and a desire to usher in a new world of goodness. And the black dragon Pokemon, Zekrom, pursued his ideal and desire to usher in a new world of hope. Dreshram and Zekrom were once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it split in two. The single Pokemon that helped uh, the twin heroes bring a new region into being but the twin heroes, the younger brother who sought ideals and the older brother who sought the truth, sundered the region into two as they fought to see which of them was right. In that desperate hour, the single dragon Pokemon split its body into white and black Pokemon. Even though its ideal is truth and uh, truth and uh, it don't need to be in opposition. He's walking around. As the story goes, the third uh, dragon Pokemon, Kiram also came into existence in the in that era and there may be proof of this uh, to be found in a treasure p passed down in my family for generations the dna splicers professor juniper's research determined that the materials in the splicers date back to the same era as the materials used the building uh, uh, used in the building as a dragon spiral tower oh the dna splicers are stored very safely I guard them because I don't know what kind of power they they lie within. Um, let's see. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be one more dragon Pokemon? If e Even if Drakirim really exists, we don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon, uh, the, the ancient Pokemon split into were both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Kirim exists, could it be just a husk, a shell uh, that, that was left over? And uh, boom! Just like always, after every seventh badge, there is an explosion! And Drayden's like, hmm, what was that sound? Oh, I don't know. It could have been, you know, ice. What was that? Holy buckets! It's a flying boat that doesn't run on water. Look at that. Oh my god, this is awesome. And the graphics are pretty awesome too. So look at this. And this 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 boat here has a freaking laser. A freaking laser cannon. And uh that 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 that's not good. Wait, what are you doing? Oh crap baskets. Damn. Okay. It's shooting us with a freaking laser. <laughs> so, yeah. Holy buckets. It is, it is, it is chilly. This world of ice. Uh-oh. 
Haxorus, use Dragon Tail. Rah. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, nothing. That's enough, Haxorus. Alright, going back to the bug mold. And not only did the ice stay unbroken, there's not even a scratch on it. What's going on? I don't think that's going to work. Oh, damn. Okay, so... Huh. I remember you from Anne's Castle. Looking left and right, he's like, It's bitter cold. I'm shivering. I'm suffering, but I'm alive. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here's our, here are the facts of your admiration. This ice was especially created from Team Plasma's technology. As long as we have our secret weapon, you'll never be able to melt the... or break the ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayden, hand over your DNA splicers. Opalescent City is the city where the past and the future are intertwined. Could there be many more perfect place for the splicers to connect the separated Pokemon? Do you think someone knows who, uh, or let's see, do you think someone knows who, or someone who knows what you did two years ago will just hand him over quietly? Hmm. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice. But we can't use it for this moment. Hmm. <laughs> it won't be enjoyable in the cold, but I guess we'll just search for them. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Those foul villains. Draven, I want you to help me. We're going to drive to Team Plasma out of the Opalescent City. Okay. Alrighty. So, as you guys can see, there's ice. And, uh, yeah, it is as slippery as can be. We need to stop these guys. And, uh, Team Plasma, I've been nursing a grudge for two years, old man. Even if this is the first time I've battled you. Well, well he's, got a he's got a grudge, so it looks like we're going to have to battle some people. That old guy won't hold back even if his opponent is a young girl. Yeah, well, oh, well, we don't need to do that, so let's go right ahead and start battling some other you-know-what. Let's go, oh, yeah, you know what, Sigh of the Torrent, because we need to, yeah, grow its levels and all that crud, so let's see. Pokemon are pawns, they're means to an end. That's what I was taught. Don't think about it too much, it's easier that way. Okay, so let's go right ahead and push this forward right here. So, here he comes out with a Watchhog, my dreaded enemy. Let's go right ahead and use a Dig, because I think I already know what this Pokemon's gonna use, and why is every single one of these goddamn Pokemon faster than us? I don't know. So, Surf Attack, here comes the Baton Pass. He's gonna be switching out pretty quick, and he's coming out with a Mock. So there goes, Surf Attack, Dig Attack, there we go. Try and hit me now, Mock. Here we go, eat it. And here comes a Sludge Wave, and that did not look like a wave, so here we go. Slash attack for the win. Eat it. Okay, Wajog, time to time to meet Shadar. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with a uh, good old uh, not the mean look, but let's go with the brick break right here. And just like that, yes, that's how you do it. Okay, alrighty, that's how you do it. Okay, how could this be? Is that what the kind of power Pokemon have when they're not treated like objects? Yeah, that's pretty much the object or the thing right there. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm actually going to heal up the Pokemon because I completely forgot about, you know, battling that guy. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back. And, well, it's time to kick some butt, take some names. There's somebody right there on the bottom. So let's go right ahead and teach him a lesson. All right. I lost. I didn't stand a chance. I can't believe Haxtris blasted me all the way over here. Oh, well, that's your kind of fault. And, wow, you gotta love the... You gotta love the, the songs and everything. And, wow, everything is frozen. Let's go right here. I wish... I sure wish this whole thing, like, did the whole... Uh, what the 3DS would have done. You know, if you go sideways, you can actually move around. But that's kind of not what it is. So, here we go. Let's go with a dig attack. And, well, dig attack does it for the win. And just like that, bam. Okay, so side grows a little 44. Here comes a wheezing, and well, let's go straight for Giga Lift. And bam, okay, so wheezing, how you doing? Say goodbye. Psychic attack, yes. We're taking some butt, taking some names, and yes, Team Plasma is just not doing it right now. Uh, it's not over. The others will find the DNA splicers. Okay, so let's see, let's go right ahead and not go there. Huh. So it looks like that these doors are closed. 
Yeah, they're closed. Literally closed. Okay, so let's go right ahead and beat her. Let's see what she's all about. Team Plasma, don't get in our way. You bother. Bother, bother, bother. Okay, so here we go. Let's get it. Taking on Team Plasma female, and she's going to be coming out with her gold bat. So let's go right ahead and go with a surf attack. Her cutter is going to hit us. Why are we slow? I kind of want to know that. And, well, here we go with another air cutter. So let's go again and do another sur yeah, yeah, another a surf attack right there. And here she's coming out with a Garbiter. Garbiter. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Giga Lift. Giga Lift. Oh, yeah, you're going to be doing some stuff right here. Here we go. Psychic attack for the win. And, well, that nearly defeats this guy. So here we go again with another Psychic just for the win. And there you go. Look at that. All righty. So that's how you do it. Now I'm trying to figure this whole out. Okay, so Zinzaloin said to stick to the Drayden because that's where we'll find anything important, which uh, it is true. Now I'm trying my I'm trying to maneuver my way around here, and my 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 what you call it calls or my instincts go right here because well yeah. Now that's the exit. So let's see. Talk to him. The only one left is Zinzaloin of the Seven Sages. Where could he be? Oh! What's going on to the Pokemon at the Pokemon Gym? So we have to go to the Pokemon Gym. And, uh, well, I'm pretty sure that's, uh... Oh, crap baskets. They always have to make it so hard to actually go there, so... Let's see. Let's go right... Not right here. And let's go right around here. Okay, so there is Zinzaloin. Okay, I've been looking for your sweet and sour chicken ass. Let's go. Oh, for crying out loud. I didn't expect to have to fight to hamper uh, my cold like this. Well, no matter. The fact that I am shivering means I'm truly alive. Seriously, bro, what the heck is going on with you? Oh my god, okay. Let's go right ahead and take on Zinzaloin of the Team Plasma Team whatever. I said team twice. Let's go with a Surf Attack, and here comes Ice Beam. Sure wish we would have had that for our gym battle. That's not going to work, so let's go with Big Booty Butkus. And, well, Big Booty Butkus is looking at me right here. And that Reflect Attack is not going to stop us because here comes a Reflect. And how are we frozen? Okay, we are a Fire type. Oh, come on. You mean to tell me that a Fire type can stay frozen too? Oh, my God. Okay. This is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I wish. I wish this wouldn't have happened, so let's go with uh, this. And uh, there's another Ice Beam attack. You're spamming that, and the Reflect has gone off. Let's go with that. And go with the Flame, or Full Restore. There we go. Time to eat it. Let's get it. Okay, we're confused. All right, Flame Throw attack. Maximum effort. And how are we... God dang it. That's the most time we got frozen. Okay. Another Full Restore. There we go. We're not confused. There's a slash attack. Time to eat this flamethrower for crying out loud. Why are... Okay. There we go. God dang it. Yes, I am... Okay. That probably shouldn't have happened. And how in the... Okay. Getting angry right now. Okay. So let's go with another confused ray. How is Kraven all kicking our butts right now? Oh my god. There's a flamethrower or there's an ice beam. There you go. Eat that. Never had this much issues. Okay, so another one. Since we got Moxie, time to eat this. Let's go. And are you freaking serious? All right, Magneto for the win. Let's go for a Thunder Wave just for this situation because you know what? Now I know. Now you know how it feels. Okay, Flash Cannon. Time to eat this. Yeah, super effective. And there's a nice beam. Okay. So let's go right ahead and do another status return. Let's go with a... You know what? Yeah, let's revive our Pokemon. Take a few Ice Beams and ha- Oh my god! Okay. I'm going to destroy you right now. I am going to end you. Alright, go ahead. God dang it! Okay. Yeah. I am not liking this right now. Cryogonal can eat this. Can eat a bag of you know what. And there is another ice beam. God dang it. Of course, I am like fuming. I am fuming just because. God dang it. Because I am not thinking straight. So here we go. Sigh of the torrent. Let's go. Dig attack. 
There we go. Try and hit me with that ice beam. That's right. You're not. You're paralyzing. God dang it. Okay. Slash attack. There we go. And there's another ice beam attack that won't work on me. There we go. Eat it. Eat a bag of dicks. And here comes Weavile. Another fast Pokemon. All right. Bug. Bug type attack. And here comes a night slash attack that just kicks our butt. So. Let's go. Desert Storm. Yes, I know it's its weakness. But time to go with an Earth Power attack. And yes. That right there is not going to work. Good gravy. Okay, Screech attack. Jesus, Criminy, I'm getting my ass kicked. All right, Magneto. Time to be time to be the thing that you need to be, okay? You need to be that guy. All right, Blood Kiss. Revive. Night Slash. Not going to be effective. Uh, revive again. Let's see. Sigh of the Torrent. Jesus Christ, I'm getting my butt kicked. Okay, you are fainted. Thank you, Magneto. All right, time to eat this. All right, butt kiss. Let's go. Sacrifice that body. There we go. Flamethrower attack. Eat a bag of dicks. All right. There we go. And level 46 big booty butt kiss. Yes. Good God. You're a strong trainer. Not really. You definitely are adept to handling Pokemon. I believe I'll take my leave simply because I can't stand this cold. But imagine this. A Unova region completely covered in ice. To achieve that splendor, we'll do whatever it takes to obtain the DNA splicers. Wow, I can't even say it right. Okay, you're even better than I, th I hoped. Thanks to you, we drove them off. I'm grateful for your Pokemon also. After all that, the least I can do is heal them with this medicine. Please do, good God. Wait here a moment and I'll be back. Okay, so after that, he's like, huh, that's a new record for making it back uh, there and back. Look, uh, Draven, there are DNA splicers. These are di DNA splicers. And so, that is new for me. This is what they were after. They were really, for uh, we're really fortunate T-Plasma didn't get their hands on him. I don't know what their goal is, but I am sure we're plan they were planning something wicked. And oh my god, the Shadow Triad is here. He's like, as we suspected. The hiding place is at the gym. Well thought out. If Drayden isn't there, we can't get in. If he is there, he is the strongest guard we could possibly face. It also explains why the Pokemon or the Pokemon Gym was remodeled. Whatever the DNA splices are, are in our hands now. It's beyond my imagination to think that you'll use one of the, uh, the seven sages to find out where the DNA splices were. Now you know, then. We will accomplish our goals no matter what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of, like others, or the, the hearts of others like the Lord N does. Instead, we will bend people to our will with brute force. Two years was surprisingly a long wait. Uh-oh. Uh, looks like they're going to be jumping me right here, huh? Not really. If they stolen from us, we'll just have to take it back. Uh, wait, do I have the DNA slicers or something? Okay, so... What happens now? Uh, here is Drayden, and he's like, they don't seem to be in this area. However, they could hide their presence, so be on guard and as you look. So it looks like to me we're going to have to find them right here. Are they here? They're not here. Um, no, they're not here. Hmm. So it looks like to me we're going to have to look for these, uh, these clowns. And of course, I am uh, very, very livid over the fact that, you know, I got my butt kicked by one guy. So let's go right ahead and change a few things up, okay? So it looks like to me that Big Booty Butt Kiss doesn't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and move this item to Desert Storm. That way they can, you know, get some boost ups. And this guy right here has something that I need. So let's go ahead and take away the scope lens and replace it and all that crud. So let's go ahead. <laughs> you don't really think you could take the DNA splicers back, do you? Yes, I can. All right, time to get some revenge on you. Here comes a Plasma Shadow coming out with a Pawniard. And, well, let's go with... Damn it, I was supposed to use a Dig Attack, but that will work too. Okay, never mind. And Sigh of the Torrent grows to level 45. No, I will not use Aqua Tail because, well, I already got the Surf Attack. So here comes an Absol. Okay, let's go, Shedar. Let's do it. Shedar. Going with a high jump kick, and here comes a Sword Stand, so we really have to act quick. And just like that, Absol has been defeated. 
That was a field to fail. Look at that. Level 42. Here comes a par Pawn Yarn. So, with this Moxie, I am going to go with a Brick Break just to finish you off. Quadruple damage. And there comes another Moxie again. Yes. Admit it. I am the greatest trainer of all time. And, ah, oh, I'm lucky. I don't happen to have uh, one hold or happen to be the one holding the DNA slicers. I was buying time for the others to escape. Cheerio. Bye bye. Whatever. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! No no! It's not your fault, Draven. You were impressive. It's me that let everybody down. And yet we get ourselves a uh, well extra cross transceiver. And well, as you guys can see, our old rival and our new rival is like Draven. A strange ship was flying towards Opalescent City, right? I saw it too. I'm in route. You're in. That's Team Plasma's ship, isn't it? Yes, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'll be arriving in just a moment. Okay, I'll leave things to you. Draven, if you run into trouble, call me. I won't do it, although you are a very good backup. A better backup than most. <sighs> only those two, uh, if only there were two of me. Then I would be, I'd protect this town and chase after them too. Oh, and look at that. Draven, Draven. Glad to see you uh, you're safe as well. Well, hello, Sharon. You have actually, uh, you certainly grown. I hear you filled in for Nora by becoming the new gym leader in Aspertia City. Thanks, uh, thanks. We should uh, save the catching up for later. I have a good idea of where Team Plasma is hiding. The place with the lowest temperature in Unova region right now is in an area close to Humalau City. Drayden, please protect Opalescent City. Hugh and I will find Team Plasma. Very well, I'll do my part, thanks. The chase, I'll leave to you, but don't do anything reckless. Draven, I could use your help if you were willing. You're a skilled trainer who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Plasma. That's my definition of useful. Thank you, thank you. Somebody finally recognizes this whole thing. Uh, Drayden, we're off. Okay, alrighty. Humalau City, huh? Is there anything to the north of Undela Town? Draven, protect Pokemon from uh, Team Plasma. All people should think or, uh, think for themselves about the nature of the relationship between Pokemon and, po or, and people. It's not something Team Plasma gets to decide for everyone. Okay. Alrighty. So, there it is, guys. We have done it. In our next episode, yes, we are going to be going into Humalau, uh, Humalau City, I think. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Humalau City. Yeah, we'll be doing that, and uh, we'll be taking care of other stuff right there with Team Plasma. Anywho, thank you guys again for being very supportive, very patient, and always, uh, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. See you guys.